Welcome to Two Old Guys at the Vintage Film Channel. And uh, today we have a, a really great thing. We're talking about a working class hero of, of both radio and movies and uh, TV of the same character, the life of Riley. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, uh, folks may remember, if, I don't think you have to be our age to remember the phrase, "life living the life of Riley. It had been around from I don't know World War One or something, and it just meant the life of Riley was uh, you were everything was pleasurable and easy going and happy and wait, John. You know. John, you know how I like to look up obscure stuff. Yeah, the life of Riley is based on a character in a number of popular songs in the '30s and '40s about a guy named Sidney Sidney Riley, who came into oh. a lot of money. And oh. so it, it became the phrase, living the life of Riley. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, this Riley mm -hmm. is, uh, we created the character, uh, was Chester A. Riley. Uh, and as you pointed out, Art, the series, the TV series, really originated in radio with William Bendix mm -hmm. and uh, a whole cast, a very popular show on radio in the, in the 40s. And when, after the war came around, uh, 19... 40, what was the, after the war, with 49, they did a movie with- Yeah, 1949 with, with William Bendix playing the yeah. lead role. Yeah. Yeah. It, it called The Life of Riley, I think, wasn't yeah. it? Was that mm -hmm. the name of the movie? Yep. So imagine that you've been listening to this series on radio with when you, William Bendix, who is a very well-known character actor in the movies. And now there's a movie out called The Life of Riley, 1949, starring William Bendix. But all of a sudden, when they want to make a TV series out of it, he's not available. Who do you turn to? Art, you oh, know who they turn oh, to? Absolutely. One of the greatest working class characters on TV of all term, time, Jackie Gleason. Jackie Gleason, yeah. So Riley was, uh, was a blue collar uh, character worked as a California riveter in an airplane plant or Cunningham, something like that. Cunningham Aircraft. <laughs> and uh, had, a, a, as you can imagine, a whole bunch of character friends who worked with him and right. li lived a middle class, uh, the upper coming uh, post-war middle class family, had a son, a uh, junior, and a daughter, Babs, and a long suffering wife who put up with him. And I know, so just as a, for, as a side note, the reason they spoke like New Yorkers is that they had moved from Brooklyn, I guess, during the war to become riveters for the aircraft industry. So, okay, I didn't know that. That's the backstory. Uh, yeah. as a, uh, uh, they came from, I'm pretty sure it's Brooklyn, because there's a, a note about the mother in law back in Canarsie. So, <laughs> the that would be Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Well, it was a wonderful series. And William Bendix was definitely uh, a beloved star. And uh, the character, uh, uh, Riley, was known for, you know, mucking up the simplest of uh, situations mm -hmm. by saying something or uh, putting his foot in his mouth or, or malapropisms. So right. the, the script was, were very well done and they were very funny in the sense that they gave Bendix opportunity to say silly stuff. And uh, and mix things up, but right. you know when Jackie Gleason came in, um, it just didn't work, did it? They wanted to make a series out of it. Bendix was going on to do another movie, and uh, they brought in Jackie Gleason. What happened, Art? He he won an Emmy. Okay, he won an Emmy for the, during the year that the show was on, but the audience just didn't buy yep. it. Can you imagine not buying? The guy who would become Ralph Crampton, beloved <laughs> bus driver, couldn't I know couldn't be this working class guy because everybody associated the role with William Bendix because he had spent yeah. eight years or so on the radio. Then they had the movie, okay, with the same wife, Rosemary DeCamp. <laughs> yeah, and then they throw Jackie Gleason into the role, and uh, it just it didn't make it. He did a great job. He won an Emmy, or the show won an Emmy. And then it went off the air, and but but a couple of years later it came back with William Bendix and had a pretty good run. Yeah. So the, the original uh, uh, 
Life of Riley with uh, Jackie Gleason with 1949 on the Dumont Network. You have to really be old to remember Channel the Dumont five, Network. Channel 5 in New York City, right? I remember, I remember it well. I was always amazed that it went out of business. Mm -hmm. But the um, four years later, you're right, four years later, they brought William Bendix back on NBC and uh, did the series for four, five, six years, whatever it was. Right. Very successful. It's a, I guess it's a true pioneer of sitcoms uh, on television, even though it came from radio and all that other stuff. Yeah, so um, let, let me throw another thing at you. So I did some research and it said this is uh, one of the last uh, sitcoms that didn't have an audience, didn't have a laugh track. No laugh track. Yeah. Right. So it That's was, that was, that was before laugh track, maybe it would have lasted for seven years uh, with a laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but also, um, uh, there are lots of wonderful things, and uh, we recommend that you go find either Life of Riley or other gems. But when we do these things, the thing that I get the most fun out of is checking on some of the, the people who were involved in it. In this case, William Bendix apparently didn't start acting till he was 30, and he no did kidding. it under some kind of... Uh, a World War II or 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 or, or relief program thing. Yeah. Uh, he was born in Manhattan, but when he was a kid in the 1920s, apparently he was a bat boy for the New York Yankees. Oh, that's great! And the story is told that he did a great job and he loved it, and he he saw Babe Ruth hit you know maybe a hundred of his home runs. Wow! Okay, but he eventually got fired because Ruth asked him to get a double order of of uh, hot dogs and soda and stuff like that one day and he couldn't play because it was so full and they fired him for having gotten That's that. Fun. But the interesting thing is that do, do me a favor before you go into the before you go into yeah. the next detail, throw up the video from because uh, we're looking at the still frame oh. of the life of Riley. Yeah. Throw up the video from uh, vintage film channel, the life of Riley show. How about that? Yeah. And okay. and uh and why don't you fast forward into it about 10 minutes? Uh, uh, so we just get a sense of uh, of what the show looks like. Of course, it's from the fifties, so it's in black and white. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you were going to say. Yeah. So, a, so anyway, a, so he he's fired as a bat boy from the New York Yankees, but later on, who gets to play Babe Ruth in the movies? William Bendix. Isn't that great? Yeah. So uh, great. Yeah. And of course, the one thing that we didn't say, which I think some in the audience will uh, remember is um, uh, his uh, tagline was, what a revolt oh. development this is. Yes. Yeah. That's, and, and that became a famous tagline used you know, throughout the culture. What a revolt and development this is. Right. And, and that, was, that was the life of Riley. That probably came from the radio show, but right. certainly it was uh, very popular. All you had to do is mention Riley or the TV show and what a revolting development this is. Yeah. Um, Anyway, great characters in the show. Um, one of my favorites, I don't know that we'll see him in this episode, but one of my favorites was uh, Sterling Holloway, who, who uh, I, since, since Riley worked in the aircraft plant, he had two or three uh, character friends who were characters, and they were various mugs of all sorts. But Sterling Holloway, as you might remember, I, I can't remember what character he played in a Is Disney movie. Um, no, that's not him. He's he's got a kind of curly hair. Yeah. Sterling Holloway had a had a voice that kind of cracked, and I can't imitate him. But anyway, I love Sterling Holloway. But this is one of his his buddies. They great characters in the show, including the the kids and yeah. the wife. Uh, loved I love the show. This is a lodge he belonged to, and that was always a, a part of the show. Uh, yeah, like the same, like uh, in uh, the, the honeymooners, uh, didn't uh, Art Carney and uh, Jackie Gleason have some lodge that they went to, the Elks yes. or the Moose? Or... Yeah, in fact, you, you know, I wonder if now looking at uh, Life of Riley and knowing that Ben, knowing that Jackie Gleason did a season of Life of Riley, won an Emmy for it, I wonder if when he did the Jackie Gleason show and created the honeymooners. Mm. If the life of Riley Did wasn't his inspiration for the honeymooners, but interestingly enough, uh, off the subject of life of Riley, uh, the honeymooners was what only on for one season. 
for two seasons. It seems like yeah. 30 shows. It was like also very short lived. Uh, well, it was. You're right. It, but it was within. Uh, it was. I don't think the Honeymooners was ever its own show. It was a. It was like within the Jackie Gleason show. No, there was actually a a a season of the of uh, the Honeymooners with Jackie Gleason as uh, Cramden, the bus driver, and it was a it was a show just like Life of Riley. Oh, it was he a separate. Tra- it was yeah. a separate episode. Separate episode. <laughs> yeah, thir- separate. about thirty episodes before he incorporated it in his, his uh, variety show. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, um, he, ironic, uh, ironic that Jackie Gleason, of all people, uh, could not be accepted as a working class guy like William Bendix. But, you know, William Bendix had a, a whole career where he was the tough mug and mm-hmm. uh, the working class guy. And so and he had all those radio shows behind him and a right. movie. So it's no surprise, really. But uh, look at William Bendix. Great character. Actor. So we recommend to everybody out there. Go to uh, the um, uh, Vintage Film Vintage channel, film. either right. on the YouTube channel, or you'll, you'll see the, the links down below, or um, uh, VintageFilmChannel.com, and find some of these gems yeah. uh, that you just love, and uh, whether you just remember them from a good time and it brings up some great memories, or like me, you like to go do some searching. I never knew the story about him uh, being bat boy for the Yankees and and right. to then find Babe Ruth after he got yeah. fired uh, uh, as uh, as bat boy for what he had done uh, and then his late start in the movie career uh, yep. and then he becomes this beloved character uh, who till today uh, was not a revolt in development but it was just a, a wonderful show that brought us a lot of fun and could laugh at ourselves for all the silly things that dad say, uh, yeah. the, those malapropisms, uh, and he's just a regular guy. Yeah, great, great show, a lot of fun. And you know, Art, I think maybe we ought to do a, an episode on William Bendix and his career. Maybe, maybe. we'll get Manny to Manny talk to about do it. that. Right. Yeah, yeah. Great. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. See you on Vintage Film Channel. See ya. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.